Hi there, and welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. So, it is finally spring here, and we're getting towards the end of April. So we finally, um, it's warm enough to get out and start working in my yard, doing stuff on my garden, do some walking. But sadly, with spring comes the bugs as well. And here in uh, on the Saskatchewan prairies where I live, we also get ticks. And early spring into just to the beginning of summer is usually tick season here on the prairies. I have unfortunately have had a few experiences in the past couple years of finding ticks attached to my skin and having to re remove them is not a pleasant experience. And uh, just talking about them makes my skin crawl. So one of the things that um, I always get myself ready for in the spring is the ticks and then the mosquitoes and all the other fun little bugs that like to join us in our yard. So I'm going to show you in my video um, some all natural bug spray that I have uh, made up for myself. And this is um, just has three components to it. So it's just a very simple recipe that contains water and some kind of a astringent and some essential oils. So I'm just going to take you into my kitchen and show you how I put together a couple of batches of bug spray that I hope to, I can use throughout the spring and summer, keep those pesky bugs away and enjoy myself outside. So for the mixture that I uh, use uh, in my recipe, I just do a 50-50 um, blend of distilled water and an astringent. And those astringents could be either a um, apple cider vinegar, uh, witch hazel, or some kind of alcohol such, of, such as vodka. Um, for this recipe today, I'm using uh, witch hazel because I have a large supply of it so I'm gonna just want to use it up uh, as I said apple cider vinegar is a good one or just regular white vinegar works um, for us here in Canada uh, alcohol is pretty darn expensive so um, vodka isn't something I would use but it is any kind of alcohol uh, works good as well and as far as the essential oils, I've done a bit of research on what ones work well for ticks and for mosquitoes. And one particular essential oil that seems to come up a lot for tick prevention is geranium oil. So I'll be using some of that in this blend. Um, it seems to just have a, a good scent that really repels ticks. So I'll be using that for sure. Cedar wood is another essential oil that's supposed to work well um, at repelling ticks as well as tea tree oil. Now as far as mosquito repellent, um, citronella oil of course is something as a common oil that uh, works well and um, I've also used lemongrass but one th one that I read about that's uh, supposed to work particularly well is uh, lemon eucalyptus or eucalyptus oil which apparently has an ingredient that um, is quite similar to DEET and um, is supposed to work well for repelling mosquitoes. So I'm going to use um, quite a few different oils just because I have a large supply. Um, you can use one or more. Um, some of them are less expensive than others so just whatever you have or whatever you would like to um, invest in should work. Um, I would like to also note that the blend I'm using today is considered for um, adults or human use only. If you're looking to make one for your pets or your um, to use on children, I would definitely say please do your research on essential oils and make sure that you're using some that you consider safe for your pets or for children. So I just want to talk a bit about the containers that um, you can use to make your bug spray. I'm using an uh, aluminum container for mine and I can also would also recommend if you have an amber or a dark colored glass container 
those uh, both of these work best for blocking out UV rays that um, can damage the, the long-term effect of your essential oils. But a cheap plastic spray bottle from the dollar store works just as well too. So I'm going to start off by putting in my witch hazel and my containers are four ounces so I will be putting two ounces into each of them. For your essential oils there's really no hard and fast um, measurement that you have to follow. You can make these um, as strong or as weak as you see fit. For my um, blend here, I used a variety of different essential oils and put about a total of 30 to 40 drops into each of my containers. Then I just finished off by uh, filling up the containers with some distilled water. So that's all you need to do to make up your own tick and mosquito spray. For the best protection against ticks, be sure to give your pant legs and feet a good spray before you head outside uh, outdoors. And this is also safe to apply all over, including your skin for when those pesky mosquitoes come out. So I hope you found this video helpful and that you will leave a comment below. Please uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video coming to my channel. Thanks for watching.